We would be honored if you would join us. Hey, Star Wars fans and vintage collection action figure collectors. We're looking at Hunter now from the Bad Batch. He is VC268. I know I've said multiple times on various live streams and videos that I wasn't going to pick this one up. But, you know, he's been staring at me for, you know, the last couple of months. He's just hanging out on the pegs. Looking all sad, like, buy me, buy me. So, of course, I caved like the sucker I am. Um, even though I've, I've bought the six inch Bad Batch twice with the both variations um, and with no real insight as to when we're going to see when or if we're going to see the rest of these. I know Hasbro said they will finish the Bad Batch. It's just a matter of where they can slot them in. So hopefully within the next 12 months it'd be great but I'm not sure. But yeah there's some other figures on the back can see I'm pretty sure most of these feature on my channel. Uh, maybe the Velsartha is one that I've missed. Um, the Cassian at the top. Yeah, I haven't done many of these. <laughs> I've done Piet, Cassian Andor, Cal Kestis, and I did do Starkiller back when he was first released um, in Vintage Collection Phase 1. But otherwise, let's crack open Hunter and take a look at the figure. So we're just going to bust him straight out right here. Boom. We're going to get into it and crack open this one. I have been looking at a few reviews of this guy and I have been impressed by what I've seen. Um, again, it was just a case of debating whether I need to buy the same characters again. You know, they're at, an, a, they're at a price point now of being a collector of both scales. I do have to make those sort of those choices every now and then, whether I'm going to get a character in both scales when they're released so soon together. Um, I'm sort of basing it a lot around um, the world building aspect of the vintage collection, whether it will fit in with what I have. Um, whereas the Black Series is probably, you know, honestly, it's as much as I don't want to say it's my primary sort of focus, it kind of has become that. Um, and three and three quarter is. Uh, you know, sadly, take almost, not a secondary, but it's like, if I can fit a character in with my existing collection, I will get it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's an interesting one. I haven't really sort of completely determined how I'm going to collect, but, you know, the price point are, um, is definitely the determining factor at the moment. Most vintage collection figures here in Australia vary anywhere between 26 um, or 27 at their lowest price point to anywhere 35 some have even been 45 Australian dollars um, and safe to say I have skipped all the $45 ones Just they have eventually come down in price anyway but yeah I decided Hunter he's almost an animated esque figure I like that's what I like about it um, he's almost got that sort of slight animated look to him they haven't gone full realistic um they kind of kind of stayed that sort of animated style a little bit with the black series but i think a little bit more realism to it than this guy has um whereas he's not not looking super tem morrison and definitely got a little bit more animated style so i decided i could fit him in uh on my clone wars shelf um sort of in amongst the animated figures. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing once I finish here with the review. He's going to fit in with my Clone Wars figures as opposed to like the realistic, realistic squads. Um, so before we get a really good look at the figure, we'll take a look at his helmet. And that looks pretty decent. Nice clean paint applications all over. There's no sort of there's a little bit of white sort of slipping onto the visor there, but the two that I picked from in the store, both were the same. Uh, and it's so minute that I was just like, ah, it is what it is. But it's, uh, I've lost it now. No, I haven't. It's all good. But it appears to be, from, from reviews that I've seen, um, It's been a, a, a nice sort of shape to the helmet. It's not oversized or anything like my sort of the Phase 2s, which I've kind of avoided for the last couple of years, the Phase 2 clones, just because of those massive helmets. I'm just, it just doesn't do it for me. 
but this one seems to be okay. Now, he does come with his sort of Arc Trooper blaster there. I can't remember the name of it, but that's cool. It does come with his blaster pistol as well, which he doesn't have a holster for. I'm just trying to look and see. I think the Black Series one does, but this one doesn't. So I'm not sure what's going on there. But that's, that's not a big deal. That one's going to go in the accessories box anyway. Because I'll be displaying him with his um, Mark Trip one. And then, of course, the Vibro Blade, which, yeah, very much so is a small version of the Black Series one. Yeah, it works well. And theoretically, it should slide and fit in there. And that it does. It looks that looks kind of good. I like it. I'm trying to decide whether that will come off. Not sure. It's sort of it's it's holding in okay. Go that way. I wonder. Doesn't want to sort of. Oh yeah. That sort of holds a little bit better. Just getting a funny angle on it. That holds okay. I'm gonna. I'll, I'll keep it in there. That's there's nothing wrong with that. That's fine. Oh uh, yeah. Backpack is removable as I showed before. So that's not going anywhere, that looks good, that's a nice snug fit. Put the blaster in his hand. Yeah, ideally I think, you know, completing little sets of figures, like groups of figures, I think. When you talk about the Bad Batch and you put out Hunter, I think, you know, it's ideal if, you know, if you're Hasbro, you should be thinking, you know, let, let's get them all out. Let's put them all in a wave and be done with them. You know, rather than struggle and trying to fit them in over a period of time. It's just, just, just do them. You know, they've made that mistake with so many different little, little things over the years. Like we got one night of Ren in both black series and vintage back in the rise of Skywalker. And whether you want them all or not, it's, you know, it's frustrating that they do one and then not touch them ever again. But we're talking about Hunter here. And uh, yeah, I'm loving this figure. I'm really liking the look of him. The paint apps are super duper clean on the face. Really nice. Obviously the little... You can just sort of see the little skull there on his, on his headband. It's so minute, but the details are there enough. You can catch that. There you got the Clone Force 99 insignia on the shoulder. That's really nicely clean. Sort of weathering all over it. The sort of you sort of see the sort of silver scuffs on the uh, edges of the armor. Sort of on the legs as well. You know he's been in a arguably a bunch of battles at this point. Let's see how the helmet fits on. And like a glove. That looks fantastic. Almost a shame to cover up that head sculpt. <laughs> but he looks great. I'm really, really liking this figure. I'm so glad I picked it up, honestly. Um, you know, you know, if I decided to skip it, I probably wouldn't have missed it. But, you know, now that I've got it in hand, I was I was in the store the other day and I was having a little bit of a little bit of a hankering for some new plastic. And uh, yeah, like I said, this one's been sort of looking at me for a little while. And the card back looks cool too. Nice sort of clean picture of Hunter, but yeah, come on Hasbro, let's, let's finish the Bad Batch. Let's build the batch, hashtag. <laughs> Go through his articulation, he does have a double barbell in the neck and head. Ball hinge in the shoulders, and the uh, armor will move around with that arm, in and by itself as well. But uh, ball hinge in the elbows, good range of movement there. Ball hinge in both wrists. This one is sort of an in and out, in and out pivot. This one is an up and down pivot. You've got the torso joint there that looks nice. Sort of the barbell thighs swivels at the uh, top of the armor there. Hinge in the knees and ball hinged ankles with rocker joint. Rock on. You know, we all love love our rocker joints. 
it does hold the uh, knife there well as well. But that's a pretty good figure. I'm I'm happy with this one. Not upset at all. Just would love to finish the crew, obviously, you know. Probably speak on behalf of most people that have picked this figure up. That's that they uh, they need to finish the crew. Even if you just go at least the original four members, five don't need to don't need to do too much. Like it's fine. Just complete the squad and move on. Get onto whatever you want to do. But um, yeah, yeah, really, really, very much like to see some more. There's that peg hole problem again. The sort of the peg holes are there, but there's <laughs> there's no hole really. They've just uh, sort of left the sculpt there of the of the mark. You got to drill your own holes now because that they aren't going on any peg. Sorry, they ain't going on anything. So that's that's another issue in a, in and of itself. But um, what we got is pretty damn cool. He looks great. Love the detail, love the paintwork. Sculpt is good. Hope you've enjoyed my review of Hanta. It's a good figure. I appreciate you all watching. Thank you very much. I'll be back with some more reviews very, very soon with a less wobbly camera. <laughs> this is not a good time for it. All right, folks, thank you very much. We'll see you on the next one. May the force be with you always.